Hallo! Wow, what a good... <laughs> nice, nice zooming. What a good zoom. Nice one. Oh, cool. Wow. Wow. Dude, stop looting this dragon, man. <laughs> I love looking in... She's like a thousand years old. This is how I the dragon... This is how Rhea looks like. <laughs> it's a wrinkled dragon, mm, I guess. Yes. No, the dragon. Stop looking at her butt. Dragon nice. butt. Ah, cool. <laughs> this is, this is what people meant when they said they want to check out Rhea's butt. <laughs> right. So, uh, we're fighting the dragon. The big... Well, we're gonna get to her eventually. Cyril still hasn't moved. Of course not. He's waiting. He's protecting Rhea. That's his, that's his entire character. Like, so Rhea, 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 Look at me, Rhea, 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 Rhea. Areola. Areola. Oh my god, why couldn't she have wielded the Areola? That would have been so good. She's a bishop. It would have been perfect. Areola. Missed opportunity. Missed opportunity right here. Canceling this game right now. All right, so I don't... Not by pre-order, but just the game in general. Canceling okay, it, right? so Annette's got to be careful of her. She hits like a truck. Actually, she hits some. She has a shrimp axe as well. <laughs> yeah, she. Uh, oh wow, she does. Oh my god, what the fuck? It looks Why like a. Why does everyone's axe look like a shrimp? Actually, it's more like a, a pot of plant upside down. Yeah. Like one of those that doesn't do that a lot of water. <laughs> it's a pot of plant upside down. It's like a hammer with a pot of plant. Oh on my it. god, Skullagrim would fucking be so mad if you reviewed the weapons in this game. They make no sense. Uh, the, the funny thing is though, she hits on resistance, so, and her attack speed is slow as balls, so as long as we just send, like, a magic tank, like, ironically, I think Dorothea would actually tank her pretty well, because you'd take, like, okay. 30 damage once. Well, we're about to see, I guess. Uh, Ferdinand would not get doubled, Many so he can probably just, uh, actually, he, he doesn't reach, because, uh, because apparently stairs are just too hard for cavaliers to ride up. Uh, are stars, stairs hard for other people or do they just don't take, take, no, take no penalty or anything? I don't think they take any penalty, no. I mean, Petra's not a good example because she doesn't take a penalty from anything as far as I know. But uh, It looks like they reduce your movement a little bit. Like a forest, maybe. Well, one, a little yeah, less harsh than a forest, two, actually. Three, four, five, six. Well, yeah, take care to keep Casper out of range with like gas. No, stuff. no. He, he, has, he has six move and he can move upstairs just fine, so. This situation doesn't, is dire. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, wait. Uh, no, they Looks still, like Ingrid doesn't take any penalty from moving up the stairs. Weird. How could that be? Oh, weird studio house mechanic. Very weird. Is it arranged or something? No. Oh, it's, 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 just, it's just the arrow that looks like Yeah, it. the line is a little bit weird sometimes. I mean, I suppose Edelgard can also tie. Edelgard never dies, right? Edelgard doesn't have to touch for us, though. She actually does. Her rest is insane. Is it? Yeah, 22. Oh, all right, that's, that's and, she, and she has that personal skill that gives her four rests whenever she waits. What? That was included, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's one of the reasons why her rest is pretty good. Yeah, just saying she doesn't have 22 plus the skill. She just has 22. <laughs> there we go. I, I know, I know. It's just... We printed that on the healing tile. What's my strategy? <laughs> no. What's, what is my strategy? Leave it to me. Uh, I've been playing this whole game trying to find out. <laughs> I still haven't find a cleaner answer to that. <laughs> all right. Let's just heal everyone up, except for Bernadette, of course. All right, let's see what uh, Annette does. <laughs> Imagine you're like, doing an AOE heal. <laughs> Bernadette's the only one excluded. She's like, oh, you're trying to get killed, aren't you? This place with my very life. Uh, three range. Ooh. Count on that. Ah. She's using Excalibur. Okay. Oh, okay. I well, mean, nice job countering. Makes she, I mean, it makes sense she, she doesn't want to get countered. I just thought she used her potted plants. But, uh, yeah, now she doesn't have her pot of plants, so now I can just go and attack her, I guess. Maybe her AES is a lot more now, though. It's oh! Uh, 16. It's yeah. still pretty shit. Probably get wrecked by the Brave Axe still. I could probably kill her with, like, a training axe. <laughs> <laughs> Depends. How fast is she again? Yeah, no. Um, she, is okay. she is squishy as tinfoil paper. Look at her. Oh, that's what I'm used to, yeah. Goodbye. No. Sorry, Annette fans. Do -do 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 they just run into the fans. <laughs> they do. <laughs> Gilbert's already gone, isn't he? He is. Uh, he is know. gone. I. Yeah. I. Do you wonder what happens if you kill her before Gilbert? Oh, nice. Same thing, I would guess. I think they said the exact same thing. So I'm not really sure when Rhea's gonna start. Yeah, probably when you get inside her range, I imagine. You think she moves? Uh, I don't think she moves. She just has a million range. I'm just yeah, wondering if I should. Um, leave someone behind to deal with the Cavaliers at the healing tile. I mean, I, Shamir could probably do it pretty well. Well, I guess. 
What's the Black Eagle Oak Pendant? Is it like increased charm? Just or gives her some charm. It was like the only uh, item I didn't have equipped on anyone. It's your birthday anyone. present, right? It's yeah. I gave my birthday present to Shamir. How nice of you. I know, right? Also, I feel like if I take more advantage of Smite, like I have Kanto, so why not just Smite before I move? Yeah, that's good. Re like this is the reason that these enemy these units did not get these kind of abilities in like Path of Radiance. It's because it's so good. Yeah, I have like a Pegasus with reposition in one of my files, and I'm like yay, just fly over them and move my healer two tiles up every Ready every turn. It easy. is it is pretty weird, isn't it? Like the like Smite isn't something a mounted unit should have because of Kanto. Because you can no. just like Smite is supposed to be like okay, you can push a unit forward, but it's gonna come at the cost of some of your own movement. I mean, with all of this game's balance issues, I don't mind that they put they, they, oh this one in. Balance issues? I mean, like, <laughs> they, don't, they didn't even think about balance. That, that's... <laughs> the, there is no balance in this Fine. game. Please don't criticize this game. Oh, sorry. It's, it's, it's a holy thing. Be careful! <laughs> the fire is stopping their advance. Yeah, yeah. Stopping yeah, their advance. Actually, the fire does kind of make it hard to approach here. Um, For them, yeah. <laughs> I mean, no, for, for us, yeah? look like... Like, a Petra, obviously, like, but everyone else is having difficulties here. Yeah, but they, but they don't have to get into, like, fire range or anything. Um, well, I think you can just bait Sterile first. Like, no, whatever. I just, I just mean that the fire floor reduces mobility, so it's harder to approach yeah. Rhea. Yeah, I guess, but it could have just been Force. <laughs> yeah, I... But I guess this, this, this hurts you instead of helping you, I guess. With, like, uh, yeah, it's just annoying, because like, I might have to take, like, a hit from Cyril and Rhea, which is not great. Um, uh, didn't, wasn't there one tile that Cyril could reach that Rhea could not? I thought that's, I saw that, but I would not be wrong. I probably yeah if I like. Or is it the reverse? Yeah, if I oh, send. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I can send. I can send a unit here and. Um, oh yeah, that's good. Looks like the cavalier isn't even moving. The cavalier is moving, so I just gotta make sure Cyril doesn't bonk Edelgard, and that should be fine. I, I saw no line. I don't think he is moving. Either that or I just missed saw it somehow. I think that was Cyril's line. Oh, saw. he has no, 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 no. Oh yeah, that was Cyril's line. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I think honestly, I think Cyril probably one rounds Edelgard. Um, she has thirty one. Oh, he, he doesn't quadruple, but he just has a lot of attack. Actually, no, he only has 58. He, well, we're fine. We're fine. So if I just... Uh, if I, if a special I bait... dancer if he wants. Yeah, to I'm, to gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna, special dance out of guard and just make sure she's topped off. And then she should be able to deal with him. No, wait, that's not Raphael. Nope. Kind of looked like it, but it was not Raphael. They, they do look a little bit similar because they're it's both wearing... a holy wearing, man, yeah. Yeah, they're both wearing sort of like holy outfits. There we go. And then I'll put... Yeah, I'll put you here, and I'll give you a... I don't think, like, I think she doubles him, probably. But I'll just fucking possible. use the Amir, like, come on. You know, you have the Amir, and that's like 17 uses left. How good do you think it will be against Rhea? Ah, I can, <laughs> that's a good... Oh, yes. Oh, also, I could, uh, I could stride to get everyone in here. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you have one left, but yeah, you could. Of course, I don't know how, like... Rhea doesn't look that scary to me. Well, have you, have you seen her voice acting? <laughs> well, yes. She sounds scary, but her damage output doesn't seem all that bad. No, maybe it'll get better. I don't know. So, yeah, I'll just stride everyone on the next turn. Maybe her AoE is just really scary. Uh, yeah, we can probably check how much that does. I really hope you'll just be able to, like, aim your bash to death. Mm! 50 times 4. She does. Right. Fine. Well, I'm dead. Why do you have 36 hits? Is that like a uh, darting blow? I think Jeez. so. Well, it's another death. God damn it. <laughs> I love how he gets to move again. Yeah. This is uh, a rough one. Alright, okay, okay. So, uh, let's check his attacks. Hopefully we can check that. Alright, uh, so what does he have? Yes, aptitude, canto, axe fair, avoid plus 10, keen intuition, with a foe that moves. Huh? With a yeah, foe? Oh, right. Yeah. Axe prowess, axe crit, axe avoid, no? Jesus Christ. Oh, he just has 30 attack speed. I don't know why. Yeah, I but he also has like a bunch of avoid abilities. That kind of adds up, I guess. Yeah. So you're going to need someone with like 27 or more, I guess, to survive. And they also uh, need that to survive. Actually, she will have 27 AS if I special dance her with the training axe. But you special danced her last time. Oh, right. You equipped the Amir, right? Yeah, I did. Yeah, no, she sh yeah, no, she still gets... Um... Doesn't she already have her special dance bonus now? Yeah, she, she does. I'm yeah, dumb. okay, so just 23, yeah. Uh, um, it's probably gonna have to be Petra, I think. Does Petra have the defense to survive two hits? Oh, no, but she has the avoidance. I mean, I... Wait, what? Hmm. 
Could give the for anything. Could give the evasion ring to Petra. <laughs> These are some reliable stats right here. And you can then... smite her, and then she can move her range, right? Oh! Could've. Could've, now you yeah. Can. Already moved. Oh, never mind. It's not move anyway. Yeah, go yeah. down to the cap. You can't reach you. There we go. And uh, I think he, like, her avoidance... How about not even bothering to have her at full HP? I mean, it doesn't matter. She's gonna... Like, if she gets hit, she dies, right? In one hit? She have 19 defense for less? <laughs> okay, no. Yeah, she dies in one hit. She actually dies in one hit. No. Well, you keep flashing it so quickly, I can't tell properly. But she has Axe Breaker, so surely she'll be okay. Be careful. Uh, I don't know about that. We'll see. I got. Sacrifice one of the units. I got. Uh, I got three him. charges left on my turn. <laughs> yeah. Turns out this game is actually balanced, guys. All right, here we go. It's about Brea. Uh, oh, well, you actually have good avoids. Yeah. Ta. Well, now it's hoping you have a bow user in range to kill him. Oh, let me just get some. Oh wait. Uh, yeah. Just, uh, just fight everyone, I guess. Oh, fine. roar. Yeah. Another Kawara. You will hear me roar. Oh. Oh, Did that oh, hurt oh. you, or was that the fire? That was the fire. Okay. <laughs> kind of made it look like it hurt me, though. Yeah. Okay, uh, I guess... I mean, I, I don't imagine he's going to be particularly hard to bring... Oh, wow. Oh, he has all the avoid things. He really is an avoidant guy, isn't he? Um, What's my strategy? Still think I'll stride this turn? Levensor probably does. Uh, it's also going to have shit hit, though. Yeah, I think strike this turn is good, like anyone who can't reach him or doesn't need to fight him can just fight Rhea instead. Yeah, well, let me just see if the Sword of the Creator... I think that might be my best. I can use the uh, ground... Red Heaven or whatever it's called. Yeah, I could use the... Uh, yeah, Sublime Heaven. Yeah, that works. Goodbye. You made Lady Rhea hurt. I'll never forgive you! Max, did you know that this character liked Lady, Lady Rhea? I know, there you go, let me... <laughs> I think this might be overkill. Oh my god. Goodbye. Rhea, thank you for everything. All the things. Yay. 42. Meaning of life? Yep. Meaning of death for Cyril, I guess. Wow. Strength Thanks. on Manuela. It's gonna be very helpful. Aww. Okay, well you can't reach with Edelgard unless you special dance maybe? I was thinking about like, yeah, I was thinking about special just, dance. Just aim your her like five thousand times. Come on, just do it. Come on. I will. Uh, I just want to see, like, Shadow Stash. Does that even work on Rhea? Probably. Ugh! He nearly dies, but hey, it's, it's Ferdinand from Aegir. From Aegir? Aegir. 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 Alright, let's just go fucking bunker with that on guard, man. And you can break you can break the barrier with other characters if you want to. Oh yeah, I could do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I actually got a lot of uh, gambits left, so... Oh yeah, that Ready works when too. You are. All right. Yay! Uh, people, she will. She might drag her towards that. Oh, I, part. I, that'd be hilarious, though. Let's try Attack it. Attack from below. Attack from below. All right. Go supposed to be your characters. To oh yeah, 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 yeah. Let's try that. I don't think it'll work. I think she has one of those commander things. Not your humanity of its folly. You still wish to hurt and betray my mother and myself. Your mom. Your mom, man. Please hit. If possible, you should. Like, you know, you should the the oh, might not work. Oh, nice miss. Nice one. All right. Well, if you keep her, if you kept her near, you could have had a gambit boost. But oh, so fast. Yeah, I'm dumb. I'm and dumb. I'm linked attacks and stuff. So keep Ferdinand from a next to her. Yeah. I mean, if she survives this turn, you're probably dead anyway. No, actually, he survives a round from her. That's pretty cool. Yeah, he survives a round, but like other characters will probably get countered. Nice, uh, nice hit rates, by the way. Wow, 45 oh, yeah, can, hit. Don't you have like Monster Smasher or whatever to, that like hurt these kind of characters? Oh yeah, yeah, but it probably something. But I need to break the barrier first. No, you can Monster Smash it to break a barrier and then kill her without a guard. Oh yeah, I could do that. And other characters. Of oh, I don't have Monster Strikes. Oh well, just to do a lot of damage then. But Gambit, ah oh, shit, this is Gambit's hard. gonna have shit hit. Like you, you can check again if you want, but Gambit is still gonna have shit hit. Yeah. Also, do keep in mind that every time Edelgard attacks, she's gonna take a counter. <laughs> so you can't just go yeah. and on her with like. This is true, this is true. No holding back. Yeah, I need to a break. Level damage? What? It's because of her barrier. Yeah, well, yeah, but even without the barrier, she would do 15. It's still nothing. Let's see if this works. 
I'm gonna say it doesn't, but then again, you are my name. Yay! Hey. Poison tactic. Oh, yeah. whoops. Get out of there, Ferdinand. No! Don't get out of there. Why not? Because like, of the thing, the combat boost and everything. The oh, attacks. So right. Sure you the stuff. And uh, I never told you this. What's wrong with you? <laughs> what is wrong with you? All right. <laughs> Aimer time. Okay, so keep my healers in reserve. I can also go in with Caspar here. Could do a gambit know, here as well, honestly. I don't know. You don't need to gambit that tile, come on. You just hit it normally. Bombard with Silver Gun. Ooh. Yes. 32 crit too. Might actually get rid of a health bar. Come on. Yeah. yeah. Crit your punch. Achoo! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so now you don't take a counter when you first attack with a guard? Uh, I shouldn't. No, yeah. Alright, maybe just what? use a training axe, why not? <laughs> why not? It's the final boss, so why not? True. You don't value human life at all. Isn't that right, immaculate one? Nonsense! Fools who do not accept their own sins are undeserving of salvation! You humans are the ones who betrayed! You hey, uh, Max. This boss is just like Takumi in Dragon Format. Thanks. I never believed in what? you from the beginning. You know the effect of the aim here? You can yeah. attack again. It's, yeah. it's not on a training axe. Oh. So you're not gonna get to move again. Oh. Oh well. Just saying. So uh prefer to die, I guess. Nah, I'll be fine. Oh shit, no. she has an ability now. <laughs> Death blow. Death blow. Hmm, nah, that's not gonna be impactful at all. It's just plus six damage, and Fernand barely survives to begin with, and he gambited her, so he'll be fine. I'm he sure. actually he'll be fine. he actually still survives. What? No, he should. Come on. Like he, he nearly died to begin with. Like, where's the survival? He dies. Mm. Come on. He totally dies. Hmm. Warp time. Mm. <laughs> Warp <I'm> out of <laughs> range. <laughs> Into the fire, bye. <laughs> I am furred and I'm ah! <laughs> wait, 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 how will she react now? Wait, what? Ah, oh my she god. Still moves. She, she has like a million range, you forgot. Ah. <laughs> wait, what oh, if I- wait, 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 what if I- what if I gambit? What if I gambit? Uh, yeah, if you gambit again, they'll go for that character, I guess. So, hopefully they survive. Like, god Death Blow is gonna make her attack ridiculous, dude. God damn it. I mean, I could hope she misses. Oh, Just like this. The proven strategy, I guess. See, what is the lightest lance we have here? <laughs> All these are super heavy. Just unequip this weapon. No, you can't do that. Shit. Can't do that. Well, that's good. So you have like a ton of blue layer. Like, three for us, like all its weapons. <laughs> Let's clean up. No. It's okay, Shamir. You'll be useful soon. <laughs> Hold them off, Shamir. I might as well just kill this guy. Can I just gambit her with Petra? Yeah, Petra What's doesn't have her? any gambits, I think. Oh, shit. Or she should, but did she use them already? Either that or... She yeah, she, yeah. Used, she, used, only she used her poison tactic already. She cannot get the victory. She cannot get the victory. That's sad. Also, uh, does Waning Shot even work on Rhea? I, it didn't work on those duels, didn't it? Or it didn't work on someone. Who did we test these on? Dimitri. Right. I'm gonna right. try. You gotta take a counter. 12 hit. whatever. That's 12 hits, so yes. Because 5 strength would make Fernanon survive. Nah, that's true, that's true. So why not? Let's try it. Sure. I mean, if it doesn't work on Dimitri, I really doubt it works on her. But we'll find out, I guess. No use. What did she even say? For you? No, no <laughs> use. No you. <laughs> no you. <laughs> Petra has a certified internet user. No you. Nah, it didn't seem to work. All right. Goodbye, Fun Air. Oh, Thin Heart. Wait, he why? Too, but he's <laughs> what? Why? How did you dodge that? Come on. Blah. Achoo. Huh? <laughs> yeah, that's that's uh, the Achoo right there. Holy shit, what the fuck? Okay, now they okay, now they started moving. Who's that again? Ash. Ash. Looks like they realized Reyes in, in trouble. Oh. Holy Kurt Shamir's or Cyril shout from the rooftops. Like, hey, ready, Reya, no! 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 Okay, it's okay, Armor Knights, you'll reach her eventually. Ouch. Yeah, fire. this fire sort of actually bothers me now. Well, I mean, as long as Rhea isn't like attacking these characters, it's really irrelevant at this point. Really want to know though what she drops. Uh, well, go ahead, waste your gambits. I'm not stopping you. Okay. Let's link flames. Let's target again. Your mom. 
Well, that's a Gabba boost, all right. Wow, 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 my mother died. Jesus Christ, do you dragons never get over this shit? I lost my father like like 10 chapters ago. You don't see me bitching oh. about it. Okay, so what did that target like? Just a, a line in front of him or something? I don't remember what that gambit does. I don't remember. Okay. Fine. Okay. Uh, yeah, Edelgard still has a gambit. So if I go around here. What? Don't you want to aim your spam this turn? No, I You can aim your spam to get the, the tiles to get Barret to. Oh, the that's to actually a good idea, but. <laughs> um, I just want to see who has. Um, I think. I'm going to haunt you if I die. <laughs> right left, right? Hubert has this one. Resident Flames? Yeah. Oh yeah, that one's good. I think Ingrid still has uh, a couple gambits left. Who? <laughs> <laughs> no, she's actually out. Uh, uh, Dorothea has gambits. She has, uh, yeah. The same God, one. it's so hard to see where these hits. There we go. That's a good one, I think. I'm oh, that's uh... Those are like a million different hit rates. I thought like 30 hit at some point, dirty. I think. Yeah, this is because uh, his hit rate has very low. Like, Different gambits are different. Okay. Oh, different tomes, you mean? Yeah. Right. All right. Yeah. Two, two. Okay. So if I then run around with Edelgard, okay, but you have to use Aimer every time you attack with Edelgard. You won't be able to spam it. You know. Oh, I guess you can. I know you can't really dance her. Combat uh... curved shot will take out one of them. Yeah. And 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 by the way, yeah, the strength debuff didn't work, but we kind of knew that already. Of course. Huh? Stop oh. going to the wrong tiles. Come on. It's not that hard. I, I keep forgetting she doesn't have bow range plus one. Oh, right. She's not Bernadetta. I, I confuse Pertzer and Bernadetta all the time. Don't yeah, they're so similar, you know? Absolutely. There we go. Got a lot that hit rate. Oh, Give me her hit rate of six. <laughs> <laughs> Achoo! Sneeze. Missed. Okay, right, so that's. Left. Okay, one left. Uh, Star has to get two. Linhart can reach him if he has three range, but he's a low HP, so he might not. Yeah, I think it's probably better to heal. Uh, Ingrid can. <laughs> there we go. Right. Time to drop. What does he get? Like a weapon? I better. Here? I better get something good out of this. He's like, oh, let me get some new barriers then. Better not get wood steel. Oh fuck it. Oh, umbral, umbral steel. steel type says you can really? repair your creative sword now. Yay! Yay. Woo! Umbral steel. Woo All right. She time to, to just for... like go oh, okay. to town on her now. I guess. Uh huh. Yep. It's okay. Uh, Raging, raging storm. Oh, right, this costs like uses. Oh shit. It does. It costs four uses per time. Oh. Shrimp axe! Ugh. <laughs> there you go. Bang. Yes. <laughs> More power. Okay, two health bars left, including the main one. Yeah. So, and so again. shrimp axe! For the last one, you can use monster breaker. Yeah, I could do that. Get a crit. Take it quick. Crit. Crit. Oh, that was, uh, that was my right. crest proc. Zero. Well. You can have zeros. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, how many of these can I use now? I can use two more. Yeah. Probably want to do something. What do you mean you want to do something? There you go. The order, does the order really matter? Ah. 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 The amount of damage I'm doing is insane. Oh well, yeah, it's basically power creep in a nutshell. Like everything has just more attack, more speed, more defense, more it's HP. Crazy mostly. how much. Okay, one okay. left. What does she have now? She has wrath. Everything. She has okay. wrath, dude. That's I'm gonna uh... murder you. Arrow of something. Arrow of something. Arrow of damage. Death. Die. Oh wait, how are you doing? Damn, what the hell? Why is she? Do... Oh, she's uh, she's stunned. That's right. Yeah. So even if you don't kill her, you're okay. I think I should be okay, yeah? Well, then you're uh, always fucking okay. Let's see, how about the ga- Ooh, that's a good gambit. That's not bad. Immune Forge, like, restores her barriers on, like, every single other monster. <laughs> <laughs> 143 HP, goddamn. That's a lot! It's a random number. Yeah. Just how much hit points should like, we- do you wanna, How much do we have? want to have? 140? No, let's do 143. That seems about right. That seems like a good number, yeah? Yeah. Uh, Let's make it 142. Come on, game. Come on. Get with yeah. it. I think if I do this, at the very least, I might uh, I might be able to shrimp back her down. Well, this yeah, is our last. This I'll... is our last hit point bar, right? Yeah, it is. It is. So you're you're good. I think you're good. You're gonna yeah. win. 
Raging Storm. You should check how much Monster Breaker does. Oh yeah. So if she's a monster and everything. Nah. That's uh, a little more, but not a whole lot more. Yeah, but it's you know. Rage you can use it without her axes though. After you're done Raging Storm. This is true. Yeah, yeah. Once I break my shrine. Oh, this actually, this actually kills her next time. So yeah. I think you're good. We did it, Reddit. We did Fever. it. We did it. This isn't even my final form. <laughs> I mean, you never know, right? Let's go. Right. Yeah. Man, never expected the final boss to be a dragon. <laughs> that was uh, this game sure takes some uh, creative liberties. <laughs> Aimer broke. No. All the right. Fight. I this fight for Ferdinand. <laughs> Woo! MVP. <laughs> okay. Motivation increased. Motivation increased. All right. Time for the ending. Hmm. Cinematic. Cinematics? Whoa! My card routes? Whoa! <laughs> okay, that's fitting. I see the glorious 15 FPS is back. <laughs> when humanity what? stands strong and people reach out for each other. Oh, time for the speech. There's no need for gods. Rhea, your reign of tyranny is over. Hey, the anime nod. Violet actually made a sound. He said, mm. uh -huh. I thought he was dead. Come on. For all. Once and for all. Combat art. Ah! Oh. Violet this made another noise. Pretty badass. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Is it? Is it over? Oh shit. Oh. I fainted again. I mean, he doesn't have a heartbeat, but she doesn't know that, does she? Yeah, right. Oh, right, she thinks she. Ah, oh, she thinks he's dead. Oh, I'm not gonna die. Oh, wait, that's his heart? Um, yes. But no one told you. Fuck. No one told you this. Hey, I'm. Be it's beating again. Oh. My huh? crest vanished? Okay, so your crest stone is your heart, but the game right. never told you. That's why you can use the sort of creator. <laughs> oh! Oh! My hair vanished. So this is gone then. Okay. Okay. That was surprisingly cool for an ending cutscene. Yeah. Not saying those are all bad, but like that was cooler than I expected it to be. It's great. Yeah. New history for Fodlin. With the fall of Ferdiad, the Holy Kingdom of Fargus and the Church of Seros both vanished into the people's memories. Oh, Jesus. Fodlin was finally one unified nation. Under the rule of Emperor Edelgard and the Adrestian Empire. <laughs> we did it, guys. Embracing her newfound power, <laughs> the world. Edelgard could at last set about destroying Fodlin's entrenched system of nobility and rebuild a world free from the tyranny of crests and status. Yet, beneath the surface, an unseen and silent struggle began to take shape. From her seat of power, Edelgard could at last wage war on those who slither in the dark. Oh, right, those guys. Is that going to be a thing? Are we going to do more? I mean, the, the, the internet told me there were only 18 chapters. The internet's never wrong. The children of the goddess have been defeated at last. 
The shape of the world will be forever changed. Humanity is free now. The world is ours once again. Can you believe it? Hmm. Oh, shit. Where have I heard this song before? I don't recognize it. Sorry. Maybe support with Edelgard and Blood? Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it, I've heard it before. It's just a different version of it. Uh, I'm not sure. Sorry, I, I mean, see. I'm always well, sure. <laughs> one thing is certain. The fate of this world depends on the choices we make. It's don't say it, Mecca. Don't say it. would have been happier continuing to mindlessly obey the about. goddess. Our work is far from over, and we can't ignore the possibility that our enemies will resurface one day. I don't know what the future holds, but come what may, will you stay by my side? Well, yeah. You chose to protect me at the Holy Tomb. Will you choose me again? What I'm trying to say is, I need you. All oh, right, is this scene? L. L. Yeah, right. Please oh. accept this gift. Please respond. You called me L. That's. I. That means more than I can say. Oh, I'm holding out a ring. <laughs> and this ring. It's lovely. Thank you, my dearest friend. friend. My friend. <laughs> I don't think, Edelgard, I don't think you understand, I don't think you understand what I'm trying to do here, Edelgard. It's a bad ending, I'm sorry, Max, it's a bad ending. I feared my feelings would be unrequited. I mean, so like a brother to be nice. On my side, it never mattered how many enemies I wish I my next boyfriend could be as nice as you are. You Thanks, Mecca. You're really, you're really adding a lot of magic to this moment. <laughs> All this time, I longed to share my feelings with you. And it seems you wished for the same. Now, our wishes have come true. This feeling, it's overwhelming. Now your burdens are mine to bear. Nah, she, she won't like that. She's like, I will bear my burdens. I think you're in the clear for the support banks. I think you're fine no matter which choice you pick. All right. <laughs> it would be funny if you picked this one as like, do ding divorce. Arrow <laughs> <Throw> down. <laughs> Who's ruining magic now? I'm gonna go marry Hubert now. <laughs> you mean Linhart? Linhart? We will crush those who slither in the dark and restore peace and order to Fodlin. I will then find a suitable successor and hand over the reins of the Empire. When all that is done, find a suitable will be successor. Of us. I look forward to starting our life together in the light of a glorious new dawn. Wait, you're not gonna be Empress? Well, maybe she will still be now. But like she's gonna get a successor at some point. All oh, right, yeah, yeah. Sure that she's like not power hungry. I, I like how she says I'm gonna find a successor. Like she's she's indicating that it's not just gonna be our child because she doesn't want a world where you are born into born that's, into status of power. So she actually that's wants to well like noticed, yeah, yeah. It will be a long and difficult path, I'm afraid, but we must remain focused on our goals. To think that I may truly yeah. call you my. <laughs> She looks. <laughs> those are some. Those are the crazy eyes. I got. I gotta be honest, guys. This not the most flattering art <laughs> guard I've seen. Changed my mind. Can I still marry Linhart? <laughs> I mean, I knew the art for these were. Great. <laughs> I mean, so, I mean, they're very, they're very hit and miss. Some are better than others. But this, this is just, this is not a flattering image of Elgar at all. It's like, it's like. <laughs> With time and care, the darkness shrouds uh. will be lifted. Oh 
You and I will become the light that shines over Fulton. Just as you have shined upon my Is it me or is it hot in here? Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh man, I'm glad I worked hard for this support. <laughs> <laughs> the entire let's play's work. This is, this is my okay. All right. Oh. Really? Yes, it's over. I okay. I better. We better get like um like an ending reel. Oh yeah, don't worry. You'll get them. All right. Time to make fun of Manx's turn count. I guess. I mean, my turn counts were bad too, so I can't. I'm sorry, I can't. Oh, oh, do you think, will there be like a ranking similar to at the end of the Tellius games? No, there wasn't in mine. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, shucks, man. That could have been cool. Yeah, there's... you know, guessing the MVP was such a big and important thing. It was play. really, I mean, like, <laughs> it's so sad. Like, I even made Jake make a graphic for it. I remember, it was sad. It was, it was, it was like, <laughs> you made this. <laughs> yeah, sad it's... times. Uh, oh, well. I just can't help it. The MVP pops up right after you beat the chapter, and I keep forgetting about it. I'd like a weird mode. Uh, yeah. All right. So uh, this route, it was uh, a little. It was still fun to play, despite it being rushed. I'll say oh, that. oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, it's, it had some amazing chapters to it for sure. Uh, it's a little bit loud, I think. Um, it had some amazing chapters to it for sure, but uh, feels a little rushed. Yeah. 18 chapters as opposed to, what, 22 or 23 in the other ones? Yeah. That's, uh... uh it seems like the last thing they wanted to make. Like, yeah, some so... Theories about how it came to be, but I don't know, man. I think they just always wanted Edward to be the villain. Then yes. At some point they decided they still wanted, like, a route where she could stick with her. Uh, I think that Edelgard is such a spiritual successor to Arvis. Like, yeah. they, they wanted a villain that, like... I'm not going to spoil too much of it before, but they well, really... Well, you just said Arvis is a villain, so hey. I mean, that's a given, but yeah. They, they really wanted a shocking villain. That they, that I think they sat down with this game, and they were like, okay, for once, we want a villain that's like... I'm not going to voice... I'm not going to read these. No, you uh, can't read these. Uh, so, okay, all right. There are some in these, uh, might like, depending on your A supports. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, it, it looks to me like they sat down and they were like, okay, we want a really good villain for Tree Houses, Edelgard. Uh, she's a good villain. And, but then they were like, but people are going to be angry because they're going to want to marry Edelgard and stuff. We don't want to piss people off. So they were like, okay, let's make an Edelgard route. That's, that's what think I think. Either that or like, I don't know, it's weird to think how they come up with, because I feel like the, the way this game's concept started was like, okay, we want to divide the game into three different houses, three different routes. So we have Edelgard, Claw, and Dimitri. But mm. it's kind of changed into Church, uh, Dimitri, Claude at some point, probably. And then they still wanted the Edelgard route, because clearly it was made last. Yes. But then the Golden Deer route is apparently very similar to the Church routes that you get if you don't go with Edelgard. So it's like, how did this how did this happen? Also, huh? this also this route explained jack shit. Yeah, it explained if, a if, lot. If it were mostly if... through talking, and then the thing, there was a lot of things that didn't explain. Like, yeah, the whole so, in the dark thing, I th we were promised to get more background on it from Hubert. We didn't really get anything, unfortunately, which is a yeah. shame because they're like the real enemy behind everything. Also, I'm still not sure why I fainted during the time skip. Uh, I'm gonna assume you you went unconscious because the castle fell on top of you or something, but you survived. Because but you it were wasn't the, it wasn't really customer. explained. I, why did I wake up in a river? I mean, do you remember what happened before? Like, yeah, right before you woke up. Was yeah, it, was it like the castle's collapsing. Oh no! And then... yeah, something like that. It fades to black and then something, something. And oh, the Raphael and Ingrid got married. Yeah. <laughs> Two blondes. Two blondes for marriage. Yay. I held a modest but lively wedding. Nice. Mm -hmm. I, I said they had no synergy. This feels kind of bad for Ingrid because now she doesn't marry anyone with the crest. So her family is like, uh, uh, Ingrid, yeah. what you doing? What you doing, please? Yeah. <laughs> we need your money, please. <laughs> but on the other hand, they both really want to be nice. So there's that. Yeah, that's true. I'm kind of sad Casper didn't marry Linhart. <laughs> I, I don't think Glenhardt can marry anyone but the Avatar from the males. No, I don't think so either. So he's only gay for like the most godly person on earth, but that's it. But yeah, I feel like uh, this. Ah. Is... Oh, oh, <laughs> that's I ship this. I ship this. <laughs> this is great. I love I love these yeah, two really supports. Great. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Yeah. 
good supports overall, but the A support especially. Was fun. The A support was wonderful. Ah, yeah, that's I, mean, I guess Dor I guess Dorothea settled for someone they like. She like. I mean, she got a noble. I guess. Oh no, wait. Hey, who turned the lights off? <laughs> this is a problem with the uh, Elgato. And uh, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Aga muffin, really? <laughs> wow. What wait. is a rag muffin? <laughs> oh, it's something. I I've heard the expression before. It sounds Scandinavian, almost. It's uh, <laughs> it's some sort of like sage or something. Um. Uh -huh. Okay, so that means Linhart become the king of Bridget. I, right? I mean, she's the queen, so I guess so. I'm not really sure how marriage and inheritance works in Frodlan, but that would no, make... I'm not sure how it works in Bridget, which is like no. separate from Frodlan, I think. Yeah, it's separate from Frodlan, but yeah, no, I'm... I'm not sure how anything in Bridget works. What? <laughs> <laughs> so wait, how does the game even decide these? Is it like the first A support you get or something? So, from what I know, you get an A support, but after you get an A support, you still gain hearts, and I think those work towards their marriage. Ah, cool. because like, Bernadetta got A supports with multiple people, so... Yeah. Ah, okay, interesting. I think that's it. That's from what I understand, but I very briefly read some comments on it, and that's it. Ah. Oh, they were, they were, they were wearing matching embroidered flowers. How nice. Yeah, of course, of course. Okay, who else? Oh, of course. I mean, of that's course. a given. Okay, I actually kind of want to see what this says, though. The tyranny of God, like being Manx, was wounded and lost the power of the progenitor God, but it mattered not, as he and Edelgard had each other. To ensure lasting peace, the two fought against those who slither in the dark. To ensure a society where people can rise and fall by their own merits, they spent their lives reforming the adequate caste system. They achieved much in their time together, and they said that they were sometimes spotted leaving the palace to privately enjoy the world they had created. How they spent those precious moments, <laughs> none of Batua will ever know. I can tell you a couple things about that, but I don't want to get demonetized. If you know what I mean. If I know what I mean. <laughs> Alright, who else ended up marrying each other? I don't know, these are like oh. all your characters, I think. Yeah, right, I guess you... I really have that many, but I didn't see like Manuela or anything. No, Manuela was... No, she showed up after Hanuman, Hanuman, right? Right as we were busy oh, bitching okay. about the story. Oh, uh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> is that it? Oh, story ending? Oh, this is just... Ah. I guess this is more time to bitch about the story. Yeah, now, now we can bitch about the story. So, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. I, I, I don't really know if we have that much more to say, though. I mean, like, my, my, my initial thoughts... My final thoughts on it is that it felt pretty rushed. Um... And I feel like it's not a great story to start out with. Like everyone, everyone keeps telling me like the blue lions are like the real good story. The blue lion and the golden deer are like the two. Uh, yeah, really I would shooting. definitely recommend the golden deer for your first playthrough. Because sure. uh, I again, if you hadn't explained things to me during the course of this story, I like it's not a lot. It doesn't really answer a lot of questions or wrap up a lot of things at all, does it? No. No, I will say that at the end of this game, when I finish it, I was kind of like, uh, I don't really have any lingering super important questions other than what will reasonably be explained in other routes. Like, oh, I, saw, yeah. I thought some things were a bit, like, short in the Golden Deer route, and in the Black Eagles, I was, I don't know, in this this time around, I didn't really have any super lingering questions. It wasn't, in the, uh, comparison again to FE7, FE7 seems to, like, intentionally leave stuff open and go on to something different. This game... Doesn't really feel like it, does it? It's more, you know, honest about the things it just chooses not to do, if that makes any sense. Yeah. I don't know if I'm making any sense there, but like, this game, sure, this, this route is rushed, but it doesn't seem to like intentionally try to mislead you into forgetting out certain plot points, I think. No, it's no, just, no, no. It's just rushed. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I don't know, just the, the whole thing about. I will say that it, it's kind of like, it was hard, I think, to sort of. It tried really hard to make Edelgard the good guy, while while she's clearly the bad guy in other routes. And yeah. uh, I'm not really sure, like, I haven't seen her as the bad guy yet, so I'm not really sure how she performs in that role, but she is despised by a lot of people in the community, so... It's gonna be weird, I think, to see her in that other role. Yeah. I, I, I don't know, Edelgard has quickly become one of my favorites, actually, because I saw both this route and the Oh, time. yeah. It made, it made her more impactful for me on the other routes, which I really like, but... I think her characterization in part one really did the job for me on that regard. Like, Black yeah. Eagles part one set her up really well. In part two, I don't really feel like she got a whole lot. She kind of just kept repeating her own mission and stuff. Yeah, she, got a little, she got a little <laughs> boring post-time skip. I will actually... Yeah. She, 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 she became the Empress. Like, that was that was her entire gimmick. I am the Empress. Yeah, Not I like, have to do this for the greater good. We have yeah. to blah, blah, yeah. blah. We knew that already. I, I, I will say, though, like... Do you think it's good that they hid so much of Edelgard's character behind her supports? Um, I mean, you will statistically unlock the supports when you play through her route. Like, it's hard yeah. not to. But at the same time, I feel like if you if you somehow don't get all her supports... I mean, her C support is by far the most... 
I think it's the B support where she talks about the experiments and the quests and stuff. I forgot if it's C plus or B plus. I think it might be C plus to. because it took yeah. a little while. Because C was like, I want to talk to you about my past. And then I think C plus was like what she actually opened up. And that then everything made sense. But if you somehow doesn't, um, if you don't unlock those, if that's even possible, then you're going to, you're going to, you're not going to, you're going to have a lot of unanswered questions about Elgar's yeah. behavior, I think. If there's a game I can forgive for hiding stuff behind supports, it's this one because it's such a huge part of the gameplay to get friendly with your students and like eat with them to motivate them and tutor them and everything. So it seems very hard to miss the supports in this game. In GBA games, it's hard to build oh, yeah. them up if you don't know they're there at all. Yeah, in GBA games, because, you yeah. can play through the entire like you can play through the entirety of FF7 without even seeing a single support. Yeah, I did, I did, like I did on my two. first. I did one of my first playthrough. I didn't yeah. even see a single but one. But if you think about this game, like all the things that like you battle near each other, you get support points. Like if you do a linked attack, you do a gamut boost. Um, you eat together to motivate them. You do like core practice, choir, yeah. choir practice. Anything will pretty much give you support points. And Edelgard supports are locked behind like time st things, so you're kind of expected to unlock them at certain points so yeah i'm no. not a big fan of hiding stuff behind supports at all but in this game I'm, I'm okay with it because with the other students their supports are sort of like just a little bit of extra background story but with edelgard yes. it literally <laughs> explains the motivations for her entire route but then again uh that might explain like don't um we never sort of discovered this but you if you have to get her c plus support to unlock the edelgard route that makes sense yeah because you have well, to but then again, we're not sure if that's the that's the case or not. I think there's two parts to Edelgard's motivations that are understand. The first one is that she has like a childhood trauma that she talks yeah. about in the supports that makes her like really annoyed. Like annoyed is a wrong word, but you get what I mean with the crests. Yeah. But even just the ideals of wanting to reshape the world like Ashnar way, where she she wants to like get rid of the nobility system. I think that was pretty clear outside of her support. So even though you don't get the underlying reason behind it, that's that's hidden behind the supports. I'm still okay with the idea of just a character that wants to get rid of the idea that nobility has an automatic right to. Um, I mean, yeah, because because in many ways, because I mean, you may not agree with Edelgard's methods, but her ideals are sort of. Yeah, right. they're same. They're same. I, I mean, like, like, like it's it, 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 no, yeah, it mirrors our our roles. It mirrors our world because we too, in our modern society, have moved away from a system of uh, bloodlines. And a little more, bit, yeah. A little bit, and more to... I mean, there's almost no monarchies left in the world, right? Yeah, like, true, 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 true. People are... We, They're we, usually ceremonial monarchies. Yeah, we yeah. discovered that, you know, electing our officials is better than people inheriting power, because yeah. when people inherit power, you sort of roll a die on whether or not they're going to be good rulers or not. Whereas when you elect people, I mean, you're. it still has its flaws. We're not going to discuss democracy on this channel, <laughs> but, but uh, <laughs> at least it's a hell of a lot better than just random air, you know? I so, guess. So, I, I still think there's like questions you can raise towards Edelgard. Like she, she decides that she's the one who's gonna take over the world and decide who is fit to rule it. Which yeah. in itself is like an unfair way to rule it, in my opinion, because she's just using raw strength to subdue everyone, and she decides yeah. that she's the one who's gonna pick the inheritor. So in a way, she's still setting up a dynasty. It's just not decided by crest. Yeah, it would it would actually be better if Edelgard like killed the nobles and then she held an election. <laughs> yes. Yeah, way. because at the very least, she would be like, okay, if I am the most competent, let me rule the world. But Edelgard is sort of like just saying she'll make that decision for you. Yeah. Which, which is every dictator in a nutshell, right? Like, it's like they decide what is best for you. Mm -hmm. And like people wanting to conquer the world to reform it is nothing new. It's happened many times in our history. Yeah. And if, okay, a, so, yeah. And if people had succeeded in conquering the world, and we'd actually have a world leader now, we'd probably be reading books about how great that world leader was for, and how brave he or she was for reforming the world, right? Yeah, sure. Okay, so since people are going to bring this up, I'm gonna ask this, did you, did you get Lysithia and Edelgard support, right? No, I only got the C. Okay, so do you know the idea behind Lysithia's too? No, I do not. I, I, I only- Do you have a suspicion I, after what you know about Edelgard? Uh, I imagine that she was experimented on, similar to yes. Edelgard, and that's why yes. she has twin crests, just like Edelgard has twin quests. Because yeah, I don't think I don't think twin crests appear normally. I don't think that's a, because Hanuman was like, yeah. when, whenever Hanuman talked to Lysithia, he was like, oh my god, it, it seems like it was such a new phenomenon to him. He, Hanuman probably thought it was something that could occur naturally, but Lysithia clearly got defensive, meaning that she probably got experimented on and doesn't want to talk about it. Exactly. So that is seemed... just kind of hates talking to people in general that belittle her, but yeah, that, that especially made her anxious. So she had the same thing happen to her as Edelgard, basically, where she was experimenting on. Uh, I don't think she was in prison per se, but yeah. she was definitely it was definitely not with her consent. And at one point, she just woke up and all the hair color was gone, and she had to crest and everything. And oh, that's why she, she they have the same hair color. 
they do. Wow, well, good of you to notice that. And then, yeah, yeah she, um, yeah, that's why she she's able to join uh, Edelgard's route to like give that uh, information to you. Basically. Oh, it's such a shame I didn't get that support. But you see, by the time I got her, I did work very hard to build her support points up. But by the time you get Lysithia, the route is almost over. And is it? it? Wasn't it like the Claude chapter where you got her? That's yeah, but that's like right? chapter 16 or something. Like at, at that point, you have like two chapters left. Really? Was it that quick? Oh, I thought it was, it was like the second chapter of the route split. Well, the route split is like it's like chapter gonna... twelve, right? Chapter thirteen, whatever. It doesn't matter. The point is, you did you didn't feel like you had enough time. Also, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just like see how ch chapters in tree houses because uh, I really Even just for tons of spoilers about Dimitri. <laughs> All right, so we have uh, the oh, thanks. The lights are off. Thanks. All oh, right, <laughs> master <sorry>. controller. <laughs> I want to see. I want to read all these names. <laughs> okay, so it's called the uh, Church of Cyrano, Black Eagle's Path, right? Yeah. yeah it's, it's called Crimson Rose or something. Yeah, chapter fourteen is the Master Tactician. That's when you kill Claude. <laughs> or, sorry, it's when uh, people don't kill Claude. Yeah, yeah. So I had uh, fourteen. Yes, yeah, so I had four chapters to build the Lysithia support. Which okay, I guess should have been okay, but it I is didn't. doable if you do like a lot of monasteries. I should have. I should have. Like I. I gotta admit, during the last you, phases of the monastery, all I did was just. I didn't even give gifts to my students. I just fed them, yeah, and I, did arena I battles. Guess the thing I should have just like eat with Edelgard and Lysithia a lot or something. I could have. Like I had a million gifts. I could have just dumped everything I had on Lysithia. Yeah. But at this point, I got so many supports. I thought I was gonna unlock them all. The supports <laughs> were building so fast. I didn't. I didn't, like. My mindset wasn't, oh, I gotta go unlock more supports, you know? When mm -hmm. <laughs> playing this game, there's enough. I hope this game is a support reader where you can like read this all back. You can like collect them as you go. Through. Oh yeah, no, no. If you go to the menu, if you go to the menu, you can see all the supports you've unlocked. Okay, that's cool. Because overall, this game supports I feel were just a big step up from the last few entries. They, they were absolutely, and I'm overall, a, I'm amazed. Not gonna say there were no bad ones, but yeah, <laughs> Bernadetta. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, but. It's amazing to me the amount of supports they have in this game and that they're all voice active. Because when we got Echoes, we finally got, for the first time, we got voice active supports in Echoes. But we got like two per char characters, if that. Some characters had one, uh, which was pretty lazy. And they were also pretty short. These supports were long, they were animated, and they were voice acted. And there were a million of them. Uh -huh. uh, which is pretty damn impressive, honestly. Like the amount of voice acting budget they must have had for this game is, must have been absolutely massive. Yep. Bunkers. Except for Geralt, he kind of just stopped getting paid in the post times. Yeah. <laughs> they were like, okay, you got these not, lines. Not only were they voice acted, they were voice acted really well at some point. Oh, too. yeah, yeah. The voice, voice acting in this game has been great. I've um, had like two moments where I was like, this is not convincing. It was like Ingrid and maybe someone else. Yeah, but Ingrid. Overall, I was like, wow. Ingrid feels really stiff good. sometimes in her lines. Oh. Uh, <laughs> she does feel a little bit stiff. I guess her character is a bit stiff, so maybe it was intentional, but it didn't really for me. But for example, like I've already said, Leone is absolute favorite when it comes to voice acting. Oh, Raphael yeah. is a really good one. All the yeah. lords have a fantastic ones. Like I don't know what the hell happened to Edelgard's voice actress, but this one, Tara Platt, I think is her name. So the Tara Platt, yeah, yeah. I was, yeah. I really liked Christina V initially, but now Tara Platt has just grown on me, and I love her now. Yeah, Rhea too. Uh, right, yeah, Char Charami Lee. Charami Lee. Yeah. yeah, she voices yeah. May and she voices uh, Cecilia and Heroes and just, yeah, oh, I love Charami Lee. She's amazing. Mm -hmm. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, that was the end of the Black Eagles routes. Thank you so much for all your comments. It was uh, a lot of fun. And uh, thank you for all the memes. Sorry for not showing a lot of memes towards the end. Uh, it's just, I got a lot of. They gotta be relevant. <laughs> they gotta be relevant. I know it's hard. I'll show more memes in the next one. So I've already decided the next round is gonna play as Blue Lions. So that's gonna be fun. So, blue Liars. Uh, blue Liars, exactly. Not sure. Finally, we're gonna know about Dimitri. Not sure if it's gonna be a break between the two. Maybe we'll see. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for joining me, Mecca. It was so it was a pleasure. It's all right. It was a lot of fun. Sometimes you might think I wasn't having fun, but really I like having fun. Sometimes at the game's expense, but yeah. I, I just gotta be honest about what I think. So, so yeah. most of the time, I was re really having a good time with this game. There are a lot of people who, like, just want us to love the game, and we do. I mean, like, generally, I will say... I can't do that. I can't 100% no. for the no. next day go, like, oh, I love this. Oh, I, I love have this. To. Oh, I love this. Treehouses has a lot of problems, and we like pointing them out. I mean, there's no, no such thing as a perfect Fire Emblem game. I could spend hours criticizing my favorite one. So that's just how we do it. But, um, but overall, I will say, um, while I wasn't super impressed with the story in this route, I think Treehouses is definitely on my top three. Mm-hmm.
Probably. I don't know where to place it yet. I think I just have to play it completely before I want to make it. Yeah, I want to play opinion. all routes. Yeah, yeah. But so far, yeah. it's definitely hovering in the top three. Like, yeah. all my... Yeah. But we'll see. We'll see. I'll just say I've, I'm really positive about this game and kind of stop it there. Yeah. I, I don't really I don't really know where to rank it. Yeah. Games. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the LP. We shall see you guys next time. Check some more Golden Deer. My little thing's probably still going at this point. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. -bye.